Hello, Weirdos. I'm Darren Marlar. Welcome to your Daily Undead from the Church of the Undead, where I bring you into what I'm doing with my own daily Bible studies, or perhaps bring you a short message of hope and encouragement during the week outside of my normal Sunday episodes. I have to admit, I haven't been all that um, uh, consistent with my Bible study the last week or so. Uh, no excuse. I, I think it's just laziness more than anything else. Yes, <laughs> I, I definitely have issues, but um, I, had, I did open up the Bible app this morning, my Version Bible app. That's what I usually use for my uh, daily Bible study uh, when I'm doing a daily Bible study. And I really liked the message this morning, and I wanted to share it with you. The verse today uh, today being Saturday, June 1st, this was the this message uh, on, in the Version app for June 1st. Psalm 4610, be still and know that I am God. I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. We're busy people between work and home, family and friends, full schedules and unending tasks. It's tempting to hurry through our days without even stopping to look up. As I was just mentioning, I've been busy doing other things and haven't stopped to look up. So this is why it kind of hit me today. But speaking through the psalmist, God said, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Again, that's Psalm 46.10. So when was the last time you were intentionally still? Not just when you were sleeping. When was your body and mind quiet enough to acknowledge that God is God. Regardless of the past, what will you choose today? You can close this app, or I guess in our case, you can stop listening to this podcast. You can check time with God off of your to-do list and continue on with business as usual. Or you can allow the knowledge and truth of God to bring peace to your restless heart. There's something about stillness that compels us beyond ourselves. There's something about stillness that heightens our awareness of our need for God. It's one thing to acknowledge God with our words, but another to put Him above every other good, bad, and distracting thing in our lives, to live in a way that honors and magnifies Him. There will come a day when, ready or not, God will reveal Himself fully. There will come a day when, willing or not, every secret will come to light. There will come a day when, like it or not, he will be exalted above the nations and honored throughout the world. But you don't have to wait to worship him. You don't have to wait to call him your God. You don't have to wait to make him the Lord and King of your life. You can be still right now and know that he is God. So how can you be still and experience God today? By admiring his creation by reading his word and reflecting on it, by listening to his voice in prayer. <laughs> Maybe all of, the, all of the above. And then it gives you a, a, a prayer for a suggestion. God, you alone are all-knowing, present, and powerful. You are the God who created the heavens and the earth, the sun and the moon, and all of creation. All people will come to know your glory and goodness. Please help me linger with you, still and aware of your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. Again, Psalm 4610. Be still and know that I am God. I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. This actually reminds me of a song that I wrote many, many years ago. I'll go ahead and share it here with you. Kind of humbling that there was a time when this was a lot more important to me than it is now, which shouldn't be the case. It should be the other way around. I should see more importance and value in spending time with God now than I did 10, 20 years ago. But we all get distracted. Life gets in the way. And that really shouldn't be the case. I have learned, and it's, it's something that I have to learn on a regular basis, but I've learned that on days where I don't have time for God, those are the days that I really have to make time for God. 
because those are the days when I'm going to need him the most. Look at that. Phone goes off. Another little distraction. If you enjoyed today's message, or if you like the Church of the Undead in general, please tell others about us who you think might also want to join in. You can find links to the podcast, YouTube channel, Facebook page, and more at WeirdDarkness.com slash church. That's WeirdDarkness.com slash church. Thanks for joining me, weirdos. Here's that song I was telling you about. It's called Time Alone With You. Until next time, Jesus loves you, and so do I. God bless. rest to sit and get hold. I need some time to regain the road. Busy day seems to fade away when I find a quiet place and call your name. It seems the Don't seem so hard